In this video, we'll describe the equation for what happens when we put solid aluminum nitrate in water. Aluminum, that's a metal. Nitrate, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. We have an ionic compound. And often these ionic compounds, they'll dissolve in water. And we can look up aluminum nitrate on a solubility table and tell if it's soluble or insoluble, if it dissolves in water or not. So let's do that. Here's our solubility table. We see here's aluminum. And then over here, is the nitrate. So we're going to find where they cross. We go over from aluminum and then nitrate, and you can see that we have an S. That means it's soluble, so it's going to dissolve in water. So we can go back and write the equation for aluminum nitrate dissolving in water. We can look on the periodic table and see aluminum. That's in group 3 or 13. It has a 3 plus charge. And the NO3, that's the nitrate ion, it has a minus charge. So when we put solid AlNO3-3, in water, liquid water, it's going to break apart. It's going to dissociate or dissolve. So we'll end up with Al3 plus plus NO3 minus. But remember, we have this 3 here. So that means we have 3 NO3 minuses, 3 of these nitrate ions. So we'll put a coefficient of 3 in front. Now, both of these are dissolved in water. To show that, we'll put an Aq. That means aqueous after each one. And aqueous just tells us they're dissolved in water. Because they're aqueous, we don't need to write H2O again on this side. And we're done. This is the equation for aluminum nitrate plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.